What's up everybody, Me Time Gamer here, bringing you the second episode of Elevator Pitch Review, bringing you the quick, positive, and negative of a new game recently released. Let's get started with the PlayStation 4 exclusive, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Roll the intro. Before we get into the positive and negative of Uncharted 4, let's go through the quick details about the game. Uncharted 4 is available on PS4. Of course, that's that's uh, the platform I played on. Uh, it was released on May 10, 2016. Uh, the, it's developed by Naughty Dog. The publisher is Sony Interactive Entertainment. Uh, the genre of the game is action-adventure, third-person shooter, platformer. Uh, the SRB rating is M for mature. Modes include single-player and multiplayer. And it can be found either by downloading it or this uh, this version. All right, so now let's get into the positive of Uncharted 4. For first off, the story is very compelling and intriguing. When you play it, it really captivates you to keep going through the story. Uh, the visuals are probably the best on the console so far for PS4. That is, the audio creates the perfect ambiance for the world. It just encapsulates everything that the world is trying to give you in return uh, the platforming feels fluent when you're like uh, scaling up a uh, side of a hill or something like that it really feels fluent especially when you're doing it properly uh, the game has a nice variety of weapons and of course the puzzles are very well done now on to the negative of the game now this might seem a little bit more for nitpicking but these are things that i've noticed quite a lot while i was playing which doesn't dim diminish the games itself but it's well that we know it at least. First off, I personally found that the shooting felt a bit a tad off. Every time I, I was shooting, I felt like it was just a bit awkward. Going with the weapon, the shooting, I felt the cover mechanics could be used a bit more improvement because they didn't sometimes Drake sometimes clipped unclipped from the cover and it, it didn't feel kind of intuitive. Or character didn't when you were trying to do something and didn't want to do it. Sometimes it was kind of weird. Another one was the vehicle controls. I I think they could have used a little bit tightening up because I did feel that um sometimes it like it didn't react the way a car should. Last but not least is I felt that there was a lack of enemy variety. I think there was about maybe six enemy variety. So I, I feel like a game this size could have used maybe a little bit more variety in its enemy. So basically my final verdict for Uncharted 4 Thief's End is a must buy. To get a better understanding of my review skill, please visit the link metimegamer.com forward slash review dash guidelines. If you enjoyed the video, hit the, the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me on Twitter at metimegamer. You can also catch me almost every day at twitch.tv forward slash me time gamer where i play a variety of games from my collection including new releases and more thank you so much for watching the second episode of elevator pitch review keep on keeping up